Uh, hello, Paranet fans. Um, Kathy Williams De Vries uh, coming to you from Brisbane, Australia. Um, and this video um, is being made for uh, a student here in Brisbane doing their Grade 6 AMB clarinet exam. And we're having a look at the Rondo Capriccioso. Uh, just a bit of background on the piece it's by Kim Saint-Saëns. It's not actually written for the clarinet. This is a transcription. It's actually a very virtuosic um, violin piece and it goes quite quick. It goes at about that speed but we're certainly not going to take it at that speed. You really want to gauge You really want to gauge uh, the speed of the piece by the hardest bit, which is pretty much the bottom line. So I'd actually take it at a hundred. Okay. Let me, see, uh, let me try it this way. See, so I would take it at fifty. So the last line. Uh, well, the last few lines, really. Probably a manageable speed. Okay, so let's just practice the hard bits. Um, I would say bars ten to ten to twelve. <laughs> I played it a little bit crudely just to illustrate that the violin just goes bah, woo, bah, sort of. But um, hang on, I'm just going to go from the beginning. Slow as it is, uh, you want the um, grace notes to be as short and, and as close to the beat as possible. B flat I would use the second top okay so there's another bit that we can pick out that might be a little bit difficult So those 
nose, you can see why I'm taking the speed back a little bit. So. <laughs> Uh, you've got a sort of uh, G minor chord there. So I'm giving you an idea. Um, let's just take those bits. I'm going to take it up to 53. So that in the last bar of the second one, first of the third. And then again the next line. And I know it sounds boring now, it won't when it's speed speeded up. I'd checked, I'd um, take that out all by itself. This is by slowed it down. Let's try the last two lines. Ah, trill fingering here. B flat with the top two trill keys. to a G, I use the G sharp key. And sometimes what I use to practice trills is And on the violin it's just a straight octave. Um, it's a little more difficult on clarinet, we don't overload the octave. So we see, we'll gradually move the tempo up, let's take it up three to 56. So I've identified bars that are hard, uh, bars 10 and 11, 18 and 19, 26, 27 and then the, from 34 to the end. So let's do 34 to the end. guys a few goes to really get that to speak properly Bye. 
couple of lines. faster at 59 and you'll start to see use that side B flat it's easier would just rip that off. taking the so you can see it's starting to make a little bit more sense now let's just take the last few lines check whether at 40 that's what note that is because it's cut off on my printer unfortunately Mm-hmm. 
apologies for that memory lapse. Okay. So 66, doing what we were doing before. <laughs> Take shape. up to 72. So taking a game. as fast as you want to get it. And you might want to take note of the Shalomo stuff and it's really juicy. Oh. 
else is you going to want to get it? Um, I mean, you could be absolutely suicidal, I suppose. Okay, so that by the end I mean, that is the absolute fastest that I would take that piece. So that's the Rondo Capriccio. So I do encourage you to look at YouTube, other YouTube recordings of actual violinists playing this piece. You'll, you'll sort of feel the, the flair and the way that, you know, they can sort of flick their bows out like that. So, uh, hope you got something out of that. Thanks for listening and bye for now.